Enchanter supports are insanely strong right now and as proof of that I'll be showing you how to 1v5 on Sona like the rank 1 player in Korea. Into the laning phase now we can see that Ezreal and Yumi are leashing and this means that Sona can get aggressive and play up in their face because Lee Sin is pathing towards topside. You can see that Sona started Q and immediately she is poking the Ezreal for even attempting to farm in lane. Q just came back up and Sona again goes into attack mode because she wants to poke the Ezreal to have kill potential. And you can just visually see how powerful that Q auto is if you're not poking in lane as an enchanter you're wasting so much potential and just demoting yourself to playing like an afk heal bot on this minion comes the level 2 spike and you can just see how ready they are for it of course at rank 1 level this spike is going to be respected but in lower elo games you can definitely pull off a nice trade here The wave is in quite an awkward spot here and sona should be autoing it to help push it and reset it and of course with Q up, Sona's gonna poke the Ezreal again. And now finally she helps with getting the wave in. There's a lack of patience from Sona here, not waiting for the wave, so she's gonna end up eating the Ezreal Q. A small mistake, but if it's repeated a few times, it can have a big impact. Make sure to pay attention to Sona's positioning here. Despite being on cooldown, they definitely don't want to shy away from this fight because Rek'Sai is coming in and Lee Sin should be topside if you've been paying attention to the map. Trading half for half like this is super worth it because this could be set up for a dive play with the wave. But as you can see, Rek'Sai is forcing and they are not slow pushing for the next wave, as you normally would for a dive. But anyway, it would be too risky because Lee Sin will be back to bot side soon for his second camp spawn around 4.15. So if I was Sona here, I'd be looking to push the wave in if possible to reset. Because Sona didn't auto attack to shove the wave in for a reset, she's been stuck here with no health or mana for ages. So this fight is essentially 1 versus 2 for Kai'Sa and it is no surprise that they don't win this. What you need to take away from this is not to be afraid of auto attacking the wave so you can control the lane. Leave a comment below if you sometimes fall into this AFK heal bot trap. Each time you recall you have to be on the lookout for roams. Here we can see a fight in mid and with the wave crashing and the enemy bot lane resetting, Kai'Sa should be able to farm safely and there's no reason to be with her until the enemy bot lane returns to lane so this is a prime opportunity for a roam and to be a difference maker in a game. Although Syndra is nearly dead here, Victor is out of mana and Rek'Sai is on Raptors and can assist the situation. Syndra really needs to be granted a reset here by helping get the wave in so she doesn't fall behind. So you can really see the impact of support here with helping out laners and affecting the whole map. And since Victor is out of mana and half HP, Sona can just threaten him so Syndra can get her wave in. Being half health and half mana is definitely not ideal for returning to lane so Sona looks to reset. But note that there is a universe where you can move to the fight topside so you can further affect the map in exchange for Kai'Sa losing some minions. But to be safe and not to risk your ADC going AFK in gold, it's a good idea to come back to Kai'Sa so she doesn't get zoned out since the wave is bouncing back to Ezreal's tower. Being back to lane now, it's gonna be business as usual, poking the Ezreal and Yumi healing him up. As you can see, but this time Ezreal tries to retaliate because he landed his W but of course focusing the support is not the play. It's too early to burst someone down alone and after using his whole combo, Kai'Sa and Sona can just both focus him and force his flash. And that was one big mistake from the Ezreal that was punished for two kills. This now opens Sona up to roam with her team, assist Rek'Sai with Dragon, place vision, clear vision or help Kai'Sa get the wave in. On the reset we have to look around for a roam but since there's nothing amazing Sona just returns to her Kai'Sa so she's not getting poked under tower alone. Trading one for one while the ADC is farming under tower is definitely not the play. The priority right now is to get the wave under control or at least in a better spot. 
Sona eats poke because she puts herself out of position. That wastes mana, that wastes health, and that wastes health potions. They're being careful because they don't know where Lee Sin is, but look at the shift the second he shows on the map. Sona beelines it towards Ezreal, giving away HP to bay out his jump so she can guarantee her ulti. This ends up as a 2 for 1 which is amazing and Ezreal is also going to be denied the wave. Sona knew this would work out because Kai'Sa is an all-in 100-0 champion while Ezreal mainly wants to whittle the enemy down before an all-in. She played to her bot lane strengths and this is why it worked out. And as you'll see here, while there is no threat to Kai'Sa, this is the perfect time to go for a roam. Pay attention to how Sona hovers Poppy like a jungler by sitting in the fog of war. Of course this is not a 2v2 they can win, but with Syndra roaming there may be potential for a turnaround. Unfortunately, they didn't pick up any kills, but at least they forced sums and Rek'Sai got to steal Lee Sin's bot side. Kai'Sa has more items at this stage than Ezreal because of the engaged Sona made, and we know Lee Sin is in base, so this lets Rek'Sai pull off this really nice gank. We don't know where Lee Sin is at the moment and unfortunately they do get picked off in the bottom lane here. This isn't as much of a mistake as it is a good play from the enemy. There is no one to currently hover or support so Sona just goes to catch the minion XP mid but please do not be catching and pushing waves mid game as the support. As the support we want to get vision control over objectives, but do not fall into the trap of going alone into fog of war. Always move with someone else for vision control. Since Ezreal was caught out and we have bot and mid lane prior, the enemy team cannot contest this dragon. Now that we're officially in the mid game, your role as a support is to group up with strong teammates and help them make plays. Always be around for the fights and never let your 3 and 0 Rek'Sai invade alone or your fed Kai'Sa push towers alone, be there with them. Sometimes these plays won't work out as you can see, they get collapsed on, but if you can know this in advance, ping it out to back off. On the respawn here, Sona is just following the Rek'Sai and making sure to be around to support if a play happens. Sona's team is currently down 3k gold, but if they can pick up this Lee Sin's bounty, they'll definitely have a good shot at this game. And as you can see, she's well aware that this is a fight they want to take and is speeding everyone to get in. As you'll see here, Sona's just going to be hovering her Kai'Sa and Rek'Sai and just establishing vision control, supporting this Herald play. They saw the Victor pushing in the bot lane and they're just looking to force 5 versus 4 here. 
If there's a good flash ulti angle, definitely something that Sonic could look to take here. Also, just keep in mind that at this stage of the game, you're not really looking for a Q poke, you're mostly looking to support with your heals and enchanting buffing powers. So for positioning, you'll see Sona should pretty much always be in the back line, not in range of hitting anybody. And unless she finds a really nice flash ulti angle, her ultis will be reserved for peeling her carries whenever someone tries to come in and kill them. And there's that huge three-man Sona ulti. Poppy, flash, knock up the follow-up. Kaisa's doing the damage with the Q. Leeson coming in. Here comes the fifth. Oh, he's nearly down. Flash, Q, and there it is. And Sona's providing the heals and the buffs, and the team fight should be smashed here. Poppy looking for the re-engage. Finds the victor against the wall. Syndra, flash, E over the wall. Kaisa unfortunately gets killed in the backline, but this is a huge team fight. Two for three, and this will let them secure up the dragon. Really, really nice ulti from the Sona there. After that huge ulti placement, you can see Sona's grouping up again. They're looking for the Baron next, looking to group up with the Kai'Sa. Make sure she's alive. She's the one that does the damage in these fights and make sure we can establish some vision control after helping her get the wave in here and moving in as a unit, as a team. The enemy team is slow to contest because Vayne is pushing down the bottom lane. Rek'Sai does secure the smite and there's the ulti. From the back line, looking for defensive ultis, keeping everyone alive, rooting the enemies. And that's going to be the Lee Sin falling. Rek'Sai, Prowler's Claw onto the Ezreal ulti. There he goes. Bye-bye. Kai'Sa running in straight onto the victor. She does pick him up, and that's going to be the Yumi. And this fight should be the game end. Got to the stage from those huge Sona ultis we saw throughout the game. Anyway, if you'd like to learn more, make sure to check out this video or get in contact for a free coaching consultation. See you next time.